You don't need to be bis. I keep seeing people like Zenosis Vex and Arthur say stuff like the weekly tome cap needs to be increased from 450, the book requirement for obtaining Savage Ray gear, Criterion Dungeons need to include Twines and Solvents, and that they need to make it to where you can have, yeah, that's good. This is probably an unpopular, but I highly disagree with the sentiment. Okay, so you're an idiot. I feel like streamers such as the ones I mentioned don't give a shit about the feeling of progression that is central to many MMOs. Bro, I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm gonna stop you right there. I played classic Ion. I, that is, dude, That the entire game is progression. You fucking idiot. Do you even watch my streams? Do you even listen to the things I say? Uh, they only care about rating experience and literally nothing else. See, this is, this is another thing, man. This is another thing that I don't understand. Multiple times... I have mentioned mid-core content. I just don't get it, man. How many times do I have to mention mid-core content? As a streamer, as a player, I care more about mid-core content than I do anything else in the game, man. Okay, well, I mean, besides, besides ultimates, but I don't expect everybody to do an ultimate, okay? Now, I want to push for more ultimates, but I don't want a lot more. I think two per expansion is fine, but three would be ideal for me. Any more than three, I don't want. I don't want more than three. The stuff that we need is more mid-core shit. This fucking idiot here, they don't listen to the things I say or they take it the wrong way. They're not understanding what I say, so I'll say it again. Because apparently this is looping day, looping. This game needs more mid-core shit. Not shit for the high-end players. I mean, I would like it, sure, but I'm also realistic. The shit needs more for mid-core players, okay? Because that shit you can do in the party finder. That shit everybody can do, or mostly everybody can do, okay? So the fact that people always say, they just relate it to the fact that I'm a hardcore raider. That's it. They just relate it to the fact that I stream world prog or hardcore or whatever. But it's like people, for some reason, they can't separate the two. Like if there's a person that raids like world prog or hardcore, then he has to care about that above everything else. And no, that's not true at all. I care more about party finder than I do anything. That's why I'm a big advocate for dumbass shit that's in the party finder. Like I'll give you an example. Top is stupid. It's too hard. Top is too hard. You are, if, if you don't cheat, you're not clearing. Don't cheat. Don't clear. That's how it is. I want you guys to tell me this. Okay. How many people in the party finder that have cleared top used auto markers? You know, auto markers is cheating. You know, it's cheating. How many people used ACT? You know, that's cheating. Like I think P5 is an awesome phase, but it is way too hard. It's way too hard. I don't give a shit if it's an ultimate or not. And you know why I don't give a shit? Because their goal is to design a fight where you don't have to cheat. What did they do? They designed the perfect fight to where you have to cheat. They designed it. Are there people that cleared and didn't cheat? Absolutely. I'm one of them. But again, I'm not speaking for the smaller percentage. I'm speaking for the general community. A vast majority of people that have fucking cleared the fight have used auto markers. And you're not gonna sit here and tell me otherwise. Motherfuckers use auto markers in Titan, in Uwu. So don't fucking tell me that these motherfuckers that are helping people clear and all that shit, they're not using auto markers. They are. It's fine. I don't give a shit. You think I care what other people use? I don't give a shit. That's none of my business, man. You wanna cheat and do all that shit? That's on you. That's not on me. That's not my responsibility to police. The fact that a lot of people think that all I care about is the 1% or whatever. And dude, that even that number's wrong. Dude, even the number is wrong. It's not 1%. It's like 10%. Bro, even the number is wrong. Everything about this is stupid. Okay? One, they have the wrong mentality and they're not listening to what I'm saying. And two, it's not 1%. It's like 10%. Everything about this is stupid. But anyway, yeah, I had a day off yesterday, so I got to let it all out today. Why should you listen to me? Because I'm a fucking genius. Okay, get the fuck out of here. What do you mean, why should you listen to me? I'm definitely one of the reasons the game has gotten better. Okay, let's, nah, no bullshit. Almost everything I fucking said has been implemented in some way, shape, or form. Okay, look guys, I'm dumb, I'm stupid, but there's one thing I know, and that's Final Fantasy XIV, and the devs seem to agree with me. What about Gunbreaker buffs? The guy that designs fucking Gunbreaker hates bald people. His job sucks.
Still no beards for you. I'm actually going to ask him that. So let's, okay, so let's continue rating. They only care about the rating experience, okay? Untrue and literally nothing else, okay? That's untrue. I feel like progression over time is central to the MMO experience and I don't enjoy having everything handed to me on a silver platter. Hello, Manderville Relics. Right, so this guy would rather just repeat the same fucking 24 mans over and over again. This person is an idiot. They don't value their time. Besides, it's not like you can't participate with every job you have when a new raid comes, when a new raid tier comes out okay you can't when a new raid comes out you have to have full crafted or you're griefing you have to have full crafted minimum or you're griefing and even with full crafted with the way the party finder is you can't fucking play any job that you want when each one is released, they also release new craftable gear set for each role. The item level for this gear set allows each role to participate in whatever content is released that tier. You can switch from tank to melee in an instant because you have the item level to enter the instance. I can tell just by how this person types what they're saying that they that they don't raid on like week one. They might raid after you're fully geared and bis, which that's ironic because this person says you don't need to be bis. I bet you this person only raids at bis. I could be wrong, but this paragraph right here leads me to believe that this person doesn't actually raid in crafted gear. Because if you actually raid in crafted gear, you know how fucking tight the DPS checks and shit are because people are terrible at this game. And I'm not saying that bis isn't important. But I don't think there's anything wrong with it being something for you to work on over the course of a patch. Okay, this right here, for you to work on over the course of a patch, it's not that you're working on it. It's purposely delayed and shitty. And not only that, but there's... How many jobs are in the game? There's 18, 20 jobs. This game is supposed to promote playing different jobs. This game discourages you to play different jobs. 19, okay. There is no work, bro. You wanna work for gear? Go play Ion. Go play a, go play a classic game, okay? Go play a game where you have to, where like every single fucking day, if you're not on doing shit, working like a fucking job, you know? then you're not going to get your fucking gear. That is working for gear. People say that there are so many jobs now, they need to give us gear more quickly. That's true. But there's still the same amount of job... Oh, my, oh here we go. Not every job uses the same amount of job roles as there have been since... Wait, what? What? Oh, my God. There are still the same amount of job roles as there has been since... Okay, that's how you know. This motherfucker might not even rate at all, man. There's way too many people like this that are fucking trying to give their opinion on something that they that they have no fucking clue about. It The roles don't matter, you fucking idiot. The roles don't fucking matter. And not... not let's, let's pretend for a second that the roles did matter. Okay, so then you're telling me that my samurai gear, I can just throw on my, my fucking ninja? You're telling me I can just take my samurai gear and put it on the ninja? It's the same role, right? It's DPS... It's a melee DPS, right? Remember, it's the same role. Let's see. Yes, there are more weapons to obtain, but you don't need to be the highest possible item level to participate in high-end content. If we're talking about ultimate fights, then fair enough. I don't do ultimate content. Yeah, of course you don't. So I admit I may have some bias. Of course you do. Okay, there it is right here. This right here sums up the entire thing. This person should have put, I don't do ultimate slash rating content. But again, I think the feeling of progression should trump the ability to enter a super... Bro... Bro, this guy is talking about gear progression when the only progression in this game is the stuff that he doesn't do. The only, um, the only feeling of progression that exists in this game, this person doesn't do. The gearing in this game has never been about progression. It's always been about the fights, progressing the fights. If you want to talk about parsing, let's just, let's, let's not talk about parsing because you... Dude, well, frankly, I don't. Oh, that's a shocker. I understand that seeing a number can give you a dopamine hit, but sites like FF Logs are no way supported or endorsed by Square Enix or the dev team, and I don't think they should be involved in discussions. You know, this is funny that this person mentioned this. I was kind of hoping they would because in the past, the existence of FF Logs has brought to light an error in the dev's way. They have admitted that we have seen numbers that they haven't seen, and that, and based on those numbers, like RDPS, ADPS, based on that, they have given buffs to jobs that were underperforming. Or 
or game design or progression. So like this entire post is made by someone is just made by a very ignorant in, uh, individual. They have no idea what they're talking about. They're just crying and they just felt the need to make a post. Anyway, if you disagree, that's perfectly fine. I understand my take is probably one that not many people share. It's because most people have more intelligence than you. Some people, they know when they have no idea what they're talking about. So they just shut the fuck up. But I just want to get that out there. Feel free to share your take in the comments. Tell me you don't play Final Fantasy without telling me you don't play Final Fantasy.